This survey will ask you about your child's pretend play. Pretend play is different from other forms of play because it involves your child's ability to play as if. When kids play pretend, they sometimes role play as different people, characters or animals. For example, a child might pretend to be Simba from The Lion King and crawl around on their hands and knees roaring. Or they might pretend to be a shopkeeper, operating a cash register, swiping your card and handing you items that you've bought. Pretend play can involve toys, props or regular items. A child may reenact a scene from the Bluey TV show using their Bluey and Bingo plushies, or they might wrap their legs in a towel before pretending to be a mermaid. Sometimes pretend play doesn't involve any role play. A child can play pretend by simply introducing an imaginary as if concept. For example, they might say the floor is lava, or that their cup is full of coffee, or that there's a monster they're hiding from. Pretend play can also involve object substitution, where they pretend an object is something different from what it really is. Like when they pick up a stick outside and pretend it's a sword or a wand, or they talk into a calculator and pretend it's a phone. Now that you're familiar with pretend play, you'll be able to distinguish it from more functional play like doing a puzzle, a painting, or stacking blocks into a tower. This study is interested in what themes children are incorporating into their pretend play. What ideas and inspiration are they borrowing from movies, books, toys, songs, or TV shows? For this survey, I'd like you to take note this weekend of just three different times your child played pretend. Pretend play can occur anytime, bath time, dinner time, in the park, in the lounge, anywhere. I want you to notice what toys or objects were involved. This could be a household item like a kitchen spoon, a stick from outside, or some food that they were eating. It could be a generic toy like a teddy bear, a toy dinosaur, or a ball. It could be a toy or accessory connected to a TV show or movie, like a toy wand from a Frozen movie, a bluey playset, or a PJ Masks action figure. What inspired their pretend play? Was your child referencing a character they like? reenacting a scene, imitating someone's behaviour. This could be something you recognised that they'd seen recently, like a TV show episode about ghosts, a movie with dragons and magic, their favourite book, or something your child watched their teacher or a shopkeeper do. You'll also be given an opportunity to provide additional information, such as anything your child said and any thoughts you had about your child's pretend play, like whether you've seen this particular behaviour before. You'll be asked about one pretend play experience at a time, clicking the purple arrow to move on to the next experience. You can start this survey anytime and return to it throughout the weekend. I recommend completing the survey on a Sunday evening after having spent the weekend watching your child's pretend play. Altogether, the survey should only take you about 15 minutes. We really look forward to hearing about your child's pretend play. Thank you for helping to support this exciting research.